Hey, I'm Leo Rubenstein and I'm going to be discussing how to formulate a diet for laying hens. The aim of this diet is to maximise egg production and egg quality while ensuring that the hen's nutrient requirements are met. Meeting laying hens nutrient requirements is essential to avoid common nutritional diseases affecting laying hens such as rickets, cage layer fatigue and fatty liver syndrome. I used Woofter software to formulate this diet. I chose Woofter software because it uses Excel which allows you to input values for minimum nutrient requirements and maximum tolerable level. I changed the values according to the NRC requirements for layer chickens to ensure that all nutrient requirements were met. According to the NRC, chickens can be fed diets based on a dry matter intake of anywhere between 80 grams and 120 grams per day without any production or health consequences, as long as the daily nutrient requirements are met. As the majority of nutrients in my diet come from grains, which are less nutrient dense, I've decided to use a 120 gram diet per day in order to ensure that sufficient nutrients are provided. In this diet, the majority of the metabolic energy and macronutrients come from a blend of grains. It was important to use a blend of grains as using too much of one particular grain can lead to reduced performance and various diseases. 20 grams of barley was used in this diet. Barley has a high beta gluten content, which is not easily digested. This can lead to reduced growth and feed efficiency in high barley diets. Therefore, only 20 grams of barley was used as there are no negative effects at this quantity. 50.86 grams of wheat middlings were used as they have no negative effects in quantities below 54 grams per day. Gluten meal has no negative effects on egg production if it's fed at less than 30 grams per day. Therefore, 16.37 grams of gluten meal per day is safe in this diet. 20 grams of oats were used. Oats contain essential B vitamins, including thymine, riboflavin, niacin, choline, copper, iron, magnesium, and zinc. Oats also contain calcium, which is particularly important, especially to laying hens. 4.28 grams of menhaden meal was used. Menhaden meal is a type of fish meal, which is high in protein. It was used in this diet to make sure that the hen's protein and essential amino acid requirements were met. It's important that these are provided to avoid amino acid deficiency, which causes depressed growth and reduced egg size and egg production in laying chickens. Oyster shells are used in this diet to provide calcium, which is very important for egg shell integrity. Calcium deficiencies are a major cause of nutritional diseases in layers. But, oyster shells should be fed separately from regular feeds, as hens will self-regulate consumption to meet calcium requirements. Dynachook liquid vitamins have also been used in this diet as a vitamin supplement to ensure that safe levels of vitamins are supplied to meet NRC guidelines. One gram should be added to the feed every three days, which is a safe level in accordance with the manufacturer's recommendations. According to the NRC, a laying chicken requires 2.9 kilocalories of energy per gram of feed. This diet provides 100% of the energy target. There are 12 essential amino acids which are not synthesized by chickens. According to the NRC, deficiencies in any of the essential amino acids will lead to a reduction in weight gain, inability to maintain body condition, and reduced egg size or egg production. As these amino acids cannot be synthesized, they must be provided in sufficient quantities in the feed. This diet provides all essential amino acids and total protein requirements at safe levels, as seen in the graph. Management of vitamin and mineral levels in this diet are important to prevent the three most common metabolic diseases in laying hens. Rickets is a disease that severely impacts the hen's bones, causing them to become bowed. This affects the hen's ability to stand and to walk. It is caused by deficiencies or imbalances in circulating calcium, vitamin D3 or phosphorus. Cage layer fatigue is caused by the depletion in the hen's calcium stores. This condition usually occurs in birds around peak egg production when calcium demands are the highest. Birds will lose control of their legs and can lie on their side. The hen's bones become fragile and may be fractured when the bird is handled. Fatty liver syndrome in chickens is a result of accumulation of fats when lipoprotein transport is disrupted. This causes increased mortality in the flock. Factors such as nutritional deficiencies and imbalances can cause this disease. Unfortunately, this diet is limited by Woofter software as it does not include vitamins. For this reason, I constructed a separate Excel spreadsheet to calculate the mineral component of this diet. Minimum requirements and maximum tolerable concentrations were obtained from the NRC, and vitamin data for each ingredient was obtained from the product website. My diet maintains macro minerals, trace minerals, and vitamins in the safe range set by the NRC, as seen in the graph. This is important to prevent the diseases I just discussed. 
The ideal calcium to phosphorus ratio for hens in peak lay is 12.12 to 1. This diet has a calcium to phosphorus ratio of 12.88 to 1, which optimizes laying frequency and eggshell strength. Finally, this diet meets all nutritional requirements of a laying hen, and at the price of 42 cents per day, can be used in backyard layer setups such as this one to maximize egg production and manage nutritional diseases.